to having the best time. We, we try and catch up whenever we can. Nice. He'll be out here soon, so we're, I'm hoping to catch up with him. But um, it, you know, th- like as the company grows and the team grows, like it, it, I look back on those days and it was it was like so, uh, like wonderfully organic. You know, where like my apartment was like our warehouse, and I would like skate. Someone's like, I need a 32. Like, I'll be right back and like, skate and grab a 32 and come back. And, you know, like, it's just kind of like head down, no worries. And, and I think as things like evolve and grow, like, you just like things get a little bit more complicated and, and you need to have those like roles and responsibilities to kind of give you some guidelines and stuff like that. You mentioned at the beginning of the show you were an ident- you are an identical twin. Yeah. Some of that, yes. I mean, which is a fascinating show in itself, but. Um, <laughs> Some of that socializing, the way that you sort of developed and how you communicate, how you work with others, yeah. was that, um, did you find that playing into this clearly like almost brother relationship it's from the outside, it seems like you and your, and your partners, was there, was there some sort of, um, crossover? What was that like? I think, uh. I mean, my brother and I, like, we're, we're still super close and we were, we're, we've always been close. And even when, like, he moved to Colorado and I stayed in California and, and like, kind of as you do, you kind of go on your, on your way, um, you know, and especially as kids, like, you're on top of each other and you fight and, and, you, and you kind of, like, you, you just, like, go through all that stuff. And I think in a similar way with, like, like us as business partners and you kind of, like, it's a relationship and you, like, you work through times that are happy and times that are like really difficult. And, and, and I think we're, I think we're super lucky because we've never really had like pr- problems, you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. there's like work in general is complex and complicated and, and things. I mean, like I said, it's been 10 years and it still feels like it's been like six months kind of thing. So it still feels like a hustle and it's not, you know, yeah. nothing's Did perfect. You, as a twin, was there pressure or desire to really like, Distinguish, distinguish yourself as an individual, be it through like, and, and maybe we'll go back to this like early teens. Go back to the yeah. 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 like, yeah. but like that could feed into the identity of of like, oh, I'm a creative person. This is my look. You know, that could be uh, uh, there could be a strong, deliberate commitment to something uh, to separate you from your twin. Well, I think like my brother and I, you know, growing up, like you're the same person. Right. And so like just things socially like happen, you know what I mean? Whether, you know, like one person's like invited to a birthday party or the other one's not like, like without even trying you, what, or with us anyway, like as twins, like without even trying, you kind of, you did become kind of individuals, even though you're literally attached at the hip, you know what I mean? Like his personality versus my personality. And, and it's kind of like Lord of the Flies sort of thing. So you kind of like, you, you organically, or we organically like kind of, together went down like our our own paths but like kind of with like with like side by side and so and then you know at the, like the end of like high school we kind of like, I was like ah oh, like I found this group of friends at a different school and I'd like started like kind of venture out into like a, different groups and same thing happened you know he went to he went to college in Boulder and I was kind of like I'm over the snow like I'm gonna stay here at the beach and so like we kind of went different ways and that was like the a first time where like when we started school it wasn't like, my name's Morgan and I'm a twin. It was like, I'm Morgan. And right. then, then that was trippy right. when like he'd wow. come to visit or I'd go and visit him and people were like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it still happens today, which is my favorite. I've lived in New York for like 13 years and, and I still get text messages because he comes here all the time for work for what he's doing. And he's, it's just, people are like, I walked up to you and gave you a hug and it wasn't you and it was super trippy. It, it felt really awkward. <laughs> what are you doing at scores? Yeah. Who's, who's the better surfer? Oh, I mean, I, mm-hmm. I, you know, I think we both have different uh, styles. styles and attributes. My brother, my, I mean, you know, my surfing, brother lives in California, yeah. dude. He gets yeah. to surf all the time. Does and that piss you off a little yeah, it it's does. like, he, especially like when that last well, like again, like those were some of the best waves I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've been fortunate enough to surf like in a bunch of different places. And that Lido day, uh, was it, I forget which, it was a Friday. Yeah. That Lido day on Friday was insane. And what, like, if you guys were talking about my brother, like I was out there and I like, I got a couple sets and I was like really trying to push it. But again, I hadn't surfed in a while. And so 
not trying to make excuses, but like, uh, dude, okay. I, like, I, I, I had right. some, I had I like, I, I was nervous at moments. So I was like, dude. dude, this is, this is sick. And then, but I was thinking, I was like, man, if JP was here, he'd be freaking right under this hook. Like, no worries. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> well, now we have a wave pool, so, you know, we'll be able to practice uh, in New no. Jersey. Why aren't you uh, opening a store in American Dream Malls, man? That's the bigger question. It's I don't just so know. You can surf there. I don't know. I how mean, do you feel about how that? funny all the New York surf shops like have little kiosks, like right by, <laughs> like the, right by the wave pool. Yeah, yeah. Like, awesome. If everyone did it, that yeah, would be a good idea. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I would love to have be running a surf shop there. And just yeah. Fucking. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go for a quick paddle. I mean, the wave pool thing's crazy just in general. Is right it? Now. Like, there's wave. I mean, all these different wave pools popping up all over the world, and and a lot. I had a bunch of friends who just went. Uh, is it in Waco? Yeah, one DSR. Dude, I mean, everyone came back and we're like, and f- like watching it, I'm kind of like, it looks fun, but like not that fun. No. They came back and they were like, we're fucking going. Yeah. We're, like, this is insane. It was incredible. Like, just, I mean, still stoked if you like run into them right now. They're like pumped. Your arms are tired, apparently. Because <laughs> you just, I mean, you catch it like 20 waves an hour. Yeah. At least. It's per insane. Person. And they have that same style wave now in Meadowlands. So like... Really? Yeah, you haven't okay. seen it? Oh, man. No. Well, so they it, have the it, same wave. It's not wave, done yet. It's done. Really? Rob, Rob Kelly's been surfing it. It's just, really? It, op- it opens to the public in the next month or two. Mm. Um, Interesting. And it's it's the BSR wave, the wake up, or, or perfect swell is the proper name of the technology. Yeah. Um, it's smaller than, than the one in Waco. Yeah. And it's indoors. So you can ride board shorts in the winter, hmm. and it's just this perfect wedgy left and right. Piece Interesting. With little air sections, and Do you I, have mean, to wear, I mean, I'm down. And then there's, that sounds, that there's like all these. <laughs> then there's an indoor ski Khakis. ski park there too. It's like you can oh, snowboard crazy. and surf in the same we hour. Finally, found a good use for that monstrosity. That's Seriously. crazy. Seriously, it's been a long time though. They, yeah. I mean. 20 years. Really? It's been almost 20 yeah. years they started working on that thing. That's crazy. It's insane. So, I mean, yeah, your brother, you know, he gets to surf a lot, he's but you, you might get to make it up. He's I don't good. know. You have he's, been, so. he's been working a lot lately, so he, he's missed the last few spots. Yeah, I might call him, like, dude, what's the deal? Well, <laughs> right, he's like, I don't right, want to right, talk right. about so it. He yeah. had an eyewear line he started? He, no, no. So, he, I mean, his career, he, he, he worked at... Smith for a long time yeah. as the team manager for both surf and snow and then he went from I hope I'm running he went from Smith to he worked at Skull Candy for a mm-hmm. while and then left from Skull Candy with, uh, to Salt and was yeah. working at Salt, Salt for a long time it, yeah. and then wa- worked at uh, what's it called Need Essentials for a little bit in, no in California and then from there he, he basically uh, just recently just launched his he started his own brand it's called Nature of Things, and it's this um, incredible, all-natural sort of wellness be- within the beauty it's wellness great. space. It's smart. it's it's yeah, gorgeous. So it's smart. so beautiful. It it, ha- it 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 has. I'm gonna butcher. He's so good at talking about it. And I'm just bad at it. But it, <laughs> it's it's he, he's calling me right now. Actually, JP. <laughs> but, JP, don't tell us about <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Quick, give me this. Give me this. Bill. No, but it's um. It's amazing. It's like so. It's based around. It's like it's all plant based, and it has some CBD components into nice. it. But like, there's three different categories. Like one uh, is like like different like sort of baths with different purposes, and then there's like uh, two different lotions, and then digestibles, and they're going to expand in this range. So he, so he's been he's been at it. He's been doing he, you know, I think it was like a full year, and just came to market and launched, and so he's 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 in the thick of like. Being, like starting a company and, and hustling. Come talk to me. I'm I'm now dealing in that world right now. Really? I had a call today. We're, we're t- going to fly to Minneapolis to Target to talk to the hand and lo- hand lotion buyer. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> the body and hand yeah. lotion. There is one. <laughs> nice. <Yes>. Large. <laughs> Sunscreen too. Yeah. And other shit. But like, it's a it's a great market. It's yeah. awesome to do. Yeah. So I mean, that's really exciting. Um, Morgan, bring us back to Saturdays. Congrats on 10 years. Thank you so much. Um, and you have a, a expand. How are you celebrating? We are celebrating by hopefully finishing our construction before Thanksgiving. And then we'll be having, uh, we'll be having some sort of party to celebrate the, the reopening of the store and, uh, just celebrate the 10 years. You know? Brad, awesome. Congrats. Yeah. 
Dude. Oh, really? sorry. Yeah. And, and. That, that was bad. And we're, and we're, yeah, we're working on a really cool, like, 10 year anniversary book. That's oh, been, uh, sweet. that's the, the, the basis of the book is like, we've been just shooting portraits of like our community in general, nice. like over, over the, the span of the last 10 years. So it's been, it's been pretty cool to kind of see how that gets put together. Before we break out. How did you meet Danny DeMauro? <laughs> How did you get him to edit your One mind? of our favorite guys. i got to ask this. I don't... How did I get introduced to Danny DeMauro? I don't... He might get mad at me about this, but he might not. I don't remember meeting him for the first time, but I remember going surfing with him for the first time, and we went we went and surfed Rockaway, and it was like pumping like solid six foot. And I, like we got there at fi- like 5.30 or whatever. It was like dark, and like I think he's, he said like two words to me. And then, like, just ran out and went surfing. And I was like, all right, all right. Is, he, is he mad? I don't know. <laughs> but Danny, um, but it might have been through our friend Tim Varecki. I, I really, like, the, the original introduction, I kind of, it's eluding right now. Yeah. So I'm going to have to call him after this to find out. But um, he's been, we became, like, super good friends. We have, like, such similar personalities. He, he, he and Colin really started the magazine together like uh, early on it's in 2012 beautiful. so beautiful yeah so it's uh danny's i love danny tomorrow he's a troublemaker he's a good yes. good troublemaker he's a hustler <laughs> yeah. tan he, is. Dan. he is the know? original tan dan it's awesome and one other thing are you gonna bring back the bag of cash contest a uh-huh. hot dude for sure we've just been you know it like uh that was the cool. That was the like. That was. I really love cool. that. That was the raddest thing, and we've wanted to bring it back like every year. And I mean, can we can we explain just, to our listeners what it was real quick? Give a quick breakdown of it. One hundred percent. I mean, it was basically just we put together this little like time frame of a window, like maybe a week or two weeks, and if the swell hit, then it was called duffel bag cash. So duffel bag of cash. So it was. It was an hour, like, open forum, so anyone could come and surf it, and, and who ended up, Danny Fuller won that year, and, like, Ballon was out, and a bunch of really good surfers, and the waves were, like, pumping at 67th Street, I'm pretty sure it was, and it was, it was awesome. I mean, like, it was such, it was so rad, and, and, I, and I wish, we had every intention of keeping it consistent, it's just, like, running a business and operating and finances and all that kind of stuff, but, like, it's something that we literally talk about every year, and we, uh, we, we got to... Don't tell them what does not not work. Yeah. Oh, shit. Incorporate yeah. into... They have to ride and it does not yeah. work. Surf yes. Board. Surf contests on the weirdest board. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoever can shred on the yeah. weirdest thought board. I like it. Whose idea was that? I'm it, pretty sure it was Collins. I was pretty sure it was Collins. It was really? Yeah. It was really fun. This, there's, like, such brilliance in the simplicity of it. And what was cool is, like, how, like, people were uh, aggressive. In the water, <laughs> like people were stoked. It was pretty funny. <laughs> awesome, Morgan. Thank you so yeah, much. Thanks so really for No, I appreciate it. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Dave. Awesome. Cheers. And Ben, we will uh, convene not next week. I won't be here. Oh, okay. But the week after. All right. Uh, well, well, TBD uh, and uh, folks should be, check us out on Instagram to find out for our next show. Yeah. Check you later. Woo. Shut up.